set yeah two point and then set is a moving point such that x set equal to y set some of you may already memorize that uh the locus of set will be the perpendicular bisector of x y but anyway we just try to write here x is 7 negative 11 so go right by 7 and then go down by negative 11 approximate here second point negative 3 negative 9 go back by 3 and then go down by 9 if you want to solve it there is two approach the first one is just simply start from the constraint here and then we use the distance formula the second one is you identify that is perpendicular by center of x y so you get a midpoint and then you get a corresponding slope in this video i just start the constraint method and then we learn about that the distance formula is come from the Pythagoras theorem so the distance formula is like this uh, for simplicity we list our x y and also set in vertical order and set is a general point so we let it be x y except we use the uh, distance formula between x and z so the x different square plus y different square which is x minus 7 and then y plus 11 similar reason for y set we have the square root x different square and then plus y different square x difference is x plus 3 while y difference is y plus 9 because the square root covered both left hand side and right hand side completely so we may just ignore it and then we focus in what inside we have x minus 7 bracket square and then plus y plus 11 bracket square i just separate two different rows and then we use identity to expand it x square minus 14x and then plus 49 plus y square plus uh, 22y and then plus 121 also x square plus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 18y plus 81 even though it's not complicated but we find out that our uh, x exists in both sides so we minus x square on both sides we minus y square on both sides it's become easier because of the choice are all in general form equal to zero so i remove all the term to one single sign we have minus 14x and then minus 6x here plus 20y we have negative 18y from right hand side these two add together we get 170 and then in total minus 90 and finally we find that there is a common uh, factor all the terms are divisible by 4 so i try to divide both sides by 4 and it's still not exactly the same as the choice because of the negative 5 so divide both sides by negative we have 5x minus y minus 20 equal to 0 so the answer is 8